Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be making another book. These are my scrap papers that I decided to use. The butterflies or whatever these things are. Moths are going to be the cover and the dots are going to be the inlay. We start off by tracing the inlay and you need two of them for one sheet of paper. I just use common craft glue, like school glue, just to glue it down. You may notice that the edges are unclean. It doesn't really matter. Just cover it up with the paper and it just goes away. Here I'm tracing the front cover which will have tabs also drawn on the side so you can fold it around the edges. And to have the front cover I also need two separate pieces of paper of the same type so you have the back and front. Once the tabs are done, it's time to pull back out the glue stick, glue down the entire face, and then do the same thing for the tabs and then fold them over. I like to fold the long ends first and then the sides. Do this until you have two. Next off is to fold just the paper. I have full sheets of cardstock here that I just fold in half because it's the perfect size that I need. You do this until you have as much as you'd like. Now on to the important part, marking your lines. These lines will be guides of where you need to poke your holes so you can have a nice straight sewing edge. I am just using a pencil instead of a pen just in case I make some mistakes along the way I can just simply erase it. They don't need to be pretty but if you're an exact perfectionist or something then you can do that keep things even but for me it's just for stability and nothing more. I am only using single sheets by the way uh, instead of signatures, which has like three or four pieces of paper stacked into one. This is just because I don't have very much recycled paper laying around, so. Alright, now we stamp the book, get all the pieces to the end, and where the lines are, we mark little circles so we can poke holes in it for the thread. I bring out my strange sculpting tool. Uh, I do flip the book over and mark holes on the other side as well. That way it's even. And then we begin drilling the holes in. Just as a note, this is pre-puncture. I uh, actually film the full puncture through off camera. So you do have to carefully twist until it pops out on the other side whilst using the same tool then it's sewing time. Alright, now you pull out your wax thread. If you would like to use other colors, apart from like my ugly thick yellow thread that I just had laying around, uh, you can use other colors and other threads of any color to match your book. It just is wise if you buy some beeswax and just kind of rub your thread through it to get it all stick together. Because without the wax on it, it does get tied up really bad and this way it's a lot easier to undo the knots. Again, investing into a kind of crescent moon shaped needle would be wise for this part. It is really difficult with a straight needle like I'm doing. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking for just a little bit. I'll meet you at the end and describe a little bit more things that I've done which I lacklusterly described in my first video. <laughs> Enjoy.
So later on, I found out that if you just hold the cover open while using a straight needle, it's easier to do this. That part that I'm struggling with right there. Most people use the, the crescent kind of needle, but I just found out if you just open it up, it's just as easy as a crescent. Then we stamp that bad boy and get the edges all nice and flat to the back just in case. I check to see if it looks lined up and then we glue the spine. Uh, specifically the threads, but I also like to brush my fingers long side of the spine just to kind of spread the glue out just a little bit for stability. And this is what it should look like. Once it's finally dry, it's time to put on the fine details. This piece here was just the perfect shade and color and matched the whole scheme. Um, all it is is a little label from a scrapbooking paper kind of compilement. I just glue that bad boy down again with the school kind of glue stick. Now it's time to make the little sleeve that I like to put in the books. Uh, I like to use the same color scrapbooking paper as the inlay. Uh, I just fold it and make it kind of like a little envelope, glue the sides down, and place it in. Then I place my little handmade, made with recycled paper card. Then I flip the pages open to show that it lays flat, and that's the book. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Think about uh, leaving a comment, a like, hitting that bell icon, and think about uh, subscribing. It'll help the channel grow, and I guess that's it. This is Monstrosities saying bye-bye.